welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share my Make 9 for 2024. It's been a really long time since I've done a Make 9. I don't think I've ever actually completed a Make 9, so that's something to work towards this year. Uh, even if you don't complete them though, I think they're a really nice way to consolidate your plans for the year and kind of get a bit of inspiration and a bit of direction for the year ahead. Um, so mine is a mix of sewing and knitting. The sewing patterns, I don't have exact sewing patterns for the sewing ideas, but I know what I want to make. So I definitely love your suggestions for those down below. The knitting patterns, I have already purchased these. They're all from Knittitude <laughs> because I'm just a bit obsessed with her at the minute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through those with you now, which is really exciting. So I'm going to pop a little like picture of the item here as I'm explaining it and then or like an inspiration photo for the ones I don't have patterns for um, and yeah anything that I don't have a pattern for I'd love your thoughts on which pattern I should make down below. So the first thing on my list for my Make 9 2024 is pants more specifically is it like Piazzo or Piazzo? the ones that are like more like flared down the bottom so they're tight at the top flared down the bottom I'll pop an example here of what I'm talking about um, I know there's quite a few really good patterns for these, um, a few options, but yeah, now that I am not working at home and I'm working from an office space, I'm definitely keen to um, transition my wardrobe more from kind of that stay-at-home mum to office chic, uh, which I have been wearing office chic, trying to dress up more office chic or kind of smart casual in my everyday wear anyway. Um, because it's a style that I really love, a style that I'm really attracted to, and I pin a lot of it on Pinterest. So I'm definitely wanting to transition my wardrobe in that direction, and I feel like this style pants um, will be really versatile. So I can wear them with like, you know, a tank top or something in summer, and then obviously transition it into like more winter style as the weather gets cooler. So I'm really excited to add pants. I'm, I'm very much a dress and skirts gal, but I have been really loving pants lately. So I'm really excited to add some more of these into my wardrobe. The next thing on my Make 9 for 2024 is a coat. I have had a coat on my wish list for so many years. It was, yeah, something that I was supposed to make uh, quite a few years ago and I never got around to it. I actually have some really beautiful material from a shop um, that was called The, the Frayed. Uh, that is no longer around anymore. They were a New Zealand based company. Um, but yeah, they, it's just, it's stunning fabric. So I have the fabric and I have a couple of ideas for the pattern. Um, the actual pattern that I was going to make with it is the Romana coat from um, By Hand London. But I'm probably up for looking for something that's maybe a little bit simpler and doesn't have so many pattern pieces. <laughs> And I know that Tasudi had a nice one and someone else had a nice one. I think their seam work actually have a nice one too. So yeah, like I said, open to pattern suggestions down below, but I really want a long line coat for winter. It doesn't get like cold, like the Northern Hemisphere in Adelaide. We are a little bit warmer in Australia, obviously, so we don't have the super cold temperatures, but... Um, it does get cool in winter and now that I'm going into the office, I definitely want a coat that I can wear, you know, when I'm out and about um, so that I can be nice and warm. And also now that I'm out of the office and uh, out of my house and in an office, I feel like having a coat makes more sense. I feel like before that I didn't go out that much to need to wear a coat. So anyway, that is the second thing on my Make 9 for 2024. The third thing on my Make 9 for 2024 is... Uh, a staple white t-shirt. I love how people style these tees with like like um, faded washed denim jeans or you can even do it like dress it up with like a skirt or I just think they're super super versatile so I really want to make a nice one this year probably out of like a linen -y cotton type material and I think I definitely wanted to have like wooden style or like not white buttons, at least some sort of wooden-y type button, um, just to kind of give it a little bit something extra. You'll see like in my example picture here, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So like a relaxed style tee, 
it's a little bit baggier that I can kind of, yeah, style with jeans or skirts, etc. Um, so I think that'll be a really great staple and something I could definitely transition between the seasons as well. I'm always looking for things that I can wear multiple times throughout the year. Obviously, the coat is not a throughout the year make, but a lot of the makes I'm hoping I'll be able to transition throughout the year. The next thing on my list is tops. I don't have like a lot of nice tops that I can wear with things. I've got stuff like this, which was actually a thrift find. Um, but I want some tops that I have some specific kind of style tops that I want to make. So if you look um, at the picture I've got up here, you'll see that it's kind of a slightly nicer style top. So it's not like a t-shirt. It's definitely more of like a, um, I think couture. I don't really know what the right word is. Um, but yeah, definitely a more fancier style top. And I actually saw one in a surf shop when I was away over Christmas and New Year's, which I really loved, which was like a crop style. I definitely think I want to go with a slightly crop style or something that can be tucked into things because I do wear a lot of high-waisted pants and I do wear a lot of skirts. Um, but yeah, just like some sort of like just nicer top. So if you have any example, like any pattern examples, like for something like this, that's just the style of like a nicer top more that smart casual style then I'd love to hear them down below um but yeah I just want something nice I can wear with like jeans or skirts or yeah something I can kind of dress up and dress down as well uh, so the next two things are skirts so the first one is more that midi style midi style kind of pleated um or yeah, I think pleated skirt is what I'm really looking for. Gathered maybe, but definitely slightly more pleated or like sort of that more relaxed pleat style. Um, but definitely a midi skirt. I love, love the midi skirts. Oh, we've just got some really nice lighting coming in. Um, yeah, I really love the midi skirt style. I wasn't sure that the midi length suited me initially, but because I am short and I have short legs, but I actually really love it as I've gotten older and majority of my dresses and skirts are now midi style. So um, that's what I'm looking for. I've got some really beautiful uh, floral fabric that I could definitely use for a skirt. So that's an, a definite idea. But I also want to have some plain ones as well. So probably if I find a pattern I like, I think I'll make a few in the same style. And then the last sewing thing is actually a short skirt so like a little mini winter skirt so this one is definitely more autumnal winter kind of based um but yeah i love this kind of look with the sort of um oh, like herringbone type fabric that you can wear with leggings or um stockings um or yeah like transition with like a big coat over the top like i'd love something that kind of works with my coat um there is actually a skirt from Seamwork that is one of their really, really old patterns, like one of their Origi Ditch patterns and um, original, for those of you who aren't Australian, uh, which is kind of like a wrap one, but it's like a mini skirt. I'll pop a, pop a photo here. It's really, really nice anyway. So maybe I'll go for that one. But yeah, I really like that sort of style for like autumn and winter. Um, I think that'll be really, really cute. Okay, the last three things for my Make 9 2024 are knitting things. And as I said at the beginning, these are all from a company called Knititude. I, she went viral recently on Instagram for one of the patterns that I have, um, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And I just love her style. She just has the most beautiful makes and her feet is so aesthetically pleasing. It's, yeah, I just, I really love her style. So I haven't tried her patterns yet, but they all look really, really nice. So I'm hoping... Um, that they will turn out for me too. So the first one is um, the Ridgeline Duster. So it's this really beautiful long line duster. I know it's a massive project to undertake because it is quite big, but I'm really into knitting at the minute. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that this will happen. I'm not sure I'll get all these knitting projects done this year. These will probably be a work in progress for a couple of years, but I'm hoping to have a few of them maybe completed, maybe at least one completed by winter. We'll see. Um, so I really do like the gray. I feel like it's a really nice color that will go with anything. So I'll probably look for something similar to that. Um, but yeah, I really love, it has this really gorgeous um, detail on the sleeve as well, which I love. So it's not just all plain. Um, so yeah, that is the first knitting item that I have. I'm just looking at my iPad while I'm talking to you so that I can get the details. 
Um, the second one that I fell in love with is the off shoulder pullover. So um, she actually did a 12 days of Christmas kind of sale leading up to Christmas, obviously. Um, and I went in it for a specific pattern, which is the last one I'm going to tell you about and the one that she went viral for this year. But along the way, she showed off kind of her whole pattern collection over, you know, a series of 12 emails, which is the digital digital marketer in me was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, so I actually found a few items along the way and the off the shoulder pullover was one of them. I just think this is so cute and will look really nice in winter with jeans or a skirt and yeah, I just, I really, really love the look of this pullover. It also, I think, has elastic in it or something so that the, um, the fold over bit of the jumper doesn't just roll up. I was a bit concerned about that, but when I read the description, it did say that there's something in there to stop her from doing that, which is amazing that she's actually thought about that as well. Um, but yeah, I really, really love the look of that one. And then the last item on my list is um, the Wrap Me Up sweater, which is the item that she went viral for earlier in 2023. I think it was like mid 2023. Um, so this is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. It is, it can be a, um, a jumper, it can be a wrap, and it can also be a scarf. So it's kind of like three patterns in one. I absolutely love the idea of this pattern. Um, so I got the, I can't remember which one, but it's the more plain. She's got a couple of different styles, but, um, yeah, I got the plain kind of style, which I really, really love because I think that'll be really versatile. You can also wear it like forwards or backwards and yeah, it's just a really versatile pattern. So I'm really excited to knit that one. She also sells patterns for things called Dickies, which I'd never heard of before. I don't know whether that's just because I'm in Australia and we don't really have that kind of thing I don't know I've never seen them before I never heard of the term dicky before but it's essentially like a faux jumper that you can wear underneath jackets and I think I'll probably end up getting one of those because they look really cute but I didn't pick one up in the sale so we'll see so that is my make night and uh, my make night yes it is my make night oh my gosh I'm having a mental break that is my make night for 2024 I will obviously keep you updated on progress um but yeah let me know down below what you think i should do for the sewing ones like what pattern suggestions you might have for those um and yeah i'll keep you updated as i find patterns for them and i'm really really excited to get back into some craftiness in 2024 that's all from me this week i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye <music>